pregnant and you don't know who is responsible it's not like i don't know who is responsible i don't just know how or where to find him you had a one night stand with a man you don't know <laughs> Tui. Tui, you were raised right you're a good girl from a good christian home what changed i was sad and confused I had just broke up with Sam because he was cheating and I needed to clear my head, so I went out. When this guy approached me, I fell easily. You fell? You fell and now you are in a mess. Hi, Tony. Please remind me again, how will your family take this? How would the church see your family? Yes, Sam hurt you badly. Obviously, we're trying to get back at him. Revenge is not an option. It wasn't revenge, believe me. Tony. Whatever, whatever. We need to look for this guy and tell him the current situation. So, get dressed, let's go. Stand up now, get dressed. Let's go and look for him at the same location where you met him. He was in his car. Ha! Tui. Ha! Drop you off. I can find my way home. Thank hey, you. Tony, I don't, I don't like the way you're treating me. Is it a crime to like you? Is it a crime to Timmy, try to? Timmy, please. I'm having a stressful day as it is already. Do not add to my stress, please. Tony, I like you. I can't, I can't imagine my future without you. Can't you give me a chance? I don't like you. I don't like you. How many times do I have to tell you? Please! But you have to give me a chance to know if you like me or not. You haven't even given me... Stop for me, okay? Stop it. Tony, Tony, Tony. Hello, Daddy. My little Angel, how are you? I'm fine, Daddy. You haven't called me or anyone at home for some time. We were worried. Are you sure you are fine? 
Yeah, I'm fine. I'm sorry for making you worry. It's okay. So when are you coming home? We'll soon be having our family here and our Thanksgiving. You should be home with us in some days. Hello, are you there? Hello? Uh, hello? Daddy, uh, I can't hear you. I, the network is not good. I'll call you back. I, I can't hear you very well. I'll call you back. Wow, thank God you came. I've actually been standing here hoping that someone will, you know, come out. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm fine. How is Tony? Uh, Tony actually went out. She went to get something at oh. the market. Okay. Uh, did you call her before coming? Well, that's the problem. My contact wiped. I don't know. For some reasons, my, this phone has been really faulty. Uh, I don't even have her number again. You know, that's why I didn't... Um, Okay. Uh, uh, yes, actually, I, I brought something for her. Would you oh. help me give it to her? Oh, sure, sure. I'll deliver your message. That's not a problem. Why did you do that? You should have at least gotten my consent first. But really, why are you upset? Why? He said he had your number before now. So giving it to him again doesn't make any difference. He clearly lied to you because he never had my number. <sighs> okay. Number, number, it uh, doesn't make any difference. Yeah. Open the bag, let's see what you put for you. Open what? We are not opening any gifts, okay? Leave it here. Just open it now. Let me Nina, we are not opening any gifts because I'm returning it back to him. Ah, clearly, you can't do that. Hansi, what's wrong with you? Are you okay? <laughs> Even if you must return it. I'm here. I'm here for you. You can return it to me. Mm. Yeah. I don't want to, I don't want, you know, I'm trying to respect you. I'm trying not to open it, but my hands are itchy. Mm, let your hands keep itchy you. I'll open, open it though. I'll open it. Why will you open it? Let me just... Nina, leave it, please. Let me peep. Let me peep. Let me, oh, let me just peep inside. Sorry now, sorry. Oh, you yeah, open. Just leave it here. I've been calling, but you've not been taking my calls. The only reason I answered your call today is because of this. Do not try what you did with my friend again. I'm begging you. Tony, please. Here is your gift. Please, what are you doing? Here is your gift. I'm not interested. Tony, I, I loved you from the first time I saw you at a conference. Tony, please give me a chance to prove my love to you. Tony. Tony. You have not eaten your food in the kitchen. And you're here. You know, my life is a mess. I can't help it. Just break it in the stomach. Stomach first. Stomach first. You can't be like this. Hmm? You can't continue like this. Why don't you terminate the baby? What? You know, what did you say? That is wrong. What is 
something happens to me in the process of terminating the pregnancy. Moreover, this is against my Christian faith. I can't do it. No. I can't. I can't. So, you sleeping with a stranger and getting pregnant for this same stranger, somebody you know nothing about, is not against your Christian belief. Auntie, stop. Stop it. Stop stressing me. Do the necessary thing and, and stop stressing everybody. Timmy is madly in love with you, right? What has that got to do with my current situation? Yeah, 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 yeah. See, can you let him into your life, make love to him, and then tack the pregnancy to him? I'm sure he will accept wholeheartedly. Nina! You know, you are unbelievable. Can you hear yourself talk? Listen, I really do not care or love Timmy. But I will not in any way tag him to a mess he absolutely knows nothing about. Ah! This girl, this girl, this girl. This girl, eh, you can be annoying sometimes. Fine! <laughs> Terminate the pregnancy. No. Tag someone to the baby. No. Auntie. Auntie, let us be now. See, she won't do any of it too. What do you want to do? Oh yeah, go. Go and tell your parents how you slept with a stranger. You did one night stand with a stranger and go. Go, go. You better think. You better think and stop stressing us. Stop stressing me. Stop. I, I know you're really mad at me. I'm deeply sorry, but I, I know it's because my, my actions were too forward. But that's because I can't help myself. I don't even know when I do it. It's because of how I feel for you. That's fine. I've heard you. It's just I'm not comfortable with strangers sending me gifts and all that. Can, can, can you allow me to be your best friend? I don't want to be a stranger anymore. Let me be your boon companion. Let, let, let me be your closest friend. Please. C can we hang out tomorrow? You don't give up, do you? I take that to be a yes. 4 p.m. tomorrow. I'll come pick you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, I'm so sorry we, we spent more time than planned. Uh, it's not your fault. Just that my estate gate won't let anyone in once it's past 9 p.m. Yeah, so I guess I'll have to spend the night here. Okay. All right. Okay, that's the bathroom door. So just make yourself comfortable. Let me just quickly get you something to wear. All right, just feel at home, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome.
Yeah. You okay? Yeah. You still awake? Yes. Oh, it's almost 3 a.m. I, I have some mails I need to reply. Oh. If I don't do it now, the workload will be much for me tomorrow. Yeah, I know. It's okay to double task, but it's not healthy. Yeah, at this point you should be resting. Every sleep you deprive yourself of winter you come back. Think so? I know so. I see why I love you so much. You are so smart and above all caring. Thanks for the compliment. But you should be resting. Okay, let me just um let me just run it off. Just quick one. Get some rest. That guy is totally different from what I thought he is. He knows how to treat a woman, right? Oh. <laughs> it's as if someone had a memorable experience. <laughs> Actually, nothing happened. He wasn't in a rush to do anything. Well, I guess it was because it was our first night together. Babe, your pregnancy will soon start coming out. And once it starts showing, the whole plan will be messed up. I, I think you really need to make love to this guy as soon as possible. I know. But still, I, I can't throw myself at him. How do you think he would see me? I understand. I get you. Yeah, but I don't want us to waste time so that things don't get out of hand. I'm just scared. What if he doesn't accept the pregnancy? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Girl, you just have to be optimistic about this whole situation. Please. It's the only way you can get through the process easily. I made spark. I garnished it well with all those things you used to like. And I'm sure you're hungry. So let me go. Dish out the spark. Get your juice. Chilled orange juice. Oh, come on. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I have a little present for you. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful. Well, oh, it's so beautiful. We really don't have to buy anything special. No, of course, you're special. You deserve everything good. Oh, thank you for making me feel special. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Do you mind I help you? Yeah, sure. Oh, it's 
so beautiful. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. I'm glad you love it. So, I uh, would you join me in the kitchen? I want to prepare food for us. You cook? Yeah, I want to know a fine boy that knows how to cook. Oh. Where is the fine boy, please? Oh, look at him here. I can't see. Look Where? Look closer Where? No, look, Where can, is he? Can you look? Can you take a look? Where is he? Hello, can you look here? Hi, fine boy. Where are you? <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> oh my goodness. Let me join you. Okay. Let me join you, fine boy. <laughs> Let me see what you can do. Well, 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 where's the fried rice now? I hope this food will taste nice. See, one would think you're not troublesome, but you're really troublesome. Can't you perceive the aroma? Look at how I garnished everything. You're still asking if it's really nice. <sighs> so, well, well, well. Did you see the way I fried my plantain? What's Hello. Special, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, I'm waiting for you to call results. Okay, let's try. The almighty fried rice. Um, Fine girls don't pray before eating. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. Can I dig in now? Go uh, ahead. <laughs> I really hate to admit this, but this is nice. Like, okay. really nice. So, who is the chef now? Uh, please. It was because I was with you in the kitchen. Yeah. With me in the kitchen? Yes, I added salt. Wait, can, can, can you just imagine? <laughs> salt and water. <laughs> Girl, listen. I have a restaurant. And I cook in my restaurant before I employed workers, even before having other branches. So this cooking thingy is my thing, okay? And I, look, I don't want to see you close to my kitchen before you say you added, you added pepper, you added anything. Allow me to do the cooking myself. No problem. So just that meat, I'll be good just you. make sure that the next time you're cooking, you make um, spaghetti with uh, chicken sauce. That way, I would see if you can truly cook. Can you humbly say you want to eat spaghetti? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, fine, I want to eat spaghetti. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> you want more plantain? Mm -hmm. Thank you. So you say plantain is your favorite. Mm -hmm. Um, how did you come up with the idea of owning a restaurant? I'm, I'm not saying it's bad though, but it's just surprising. You're a graduate, you could be doing any other job, but you chose to be in the kitchen. I'm a bit curious. Um... Well, I I didn't just wake up one morning and decide to own a restaurant. You know. My mom had this local shop where she sells groceries and also food. You know, so back then I used to help her even in the kitchen, cooking and and seven customers so later on i i decided you know i thought of i thought of this like you know people even if you buy clothes whatever you do in life you must feed sure. everyone eats so I, I thought of it i said okay why not you know, take over my mom's business and um, expand it. So what I did was, you know, renovating it, putting it to standard, you know, with the modern restaurant and all of it. So that's it. Um, 
it's been it's been a good feeling since then. Mm. That's good. What about your mother? <sighs> Life happens. I I wish she stayed longer to know you. Oh. I'm really sorry for your loss. Thank you. Thank you. Nina. I saw you. You saw me. Hey, see, you've been smiling all through. Even when you got down from the car. Eh. How, how did you go? <sighs> well, it went a spawned. <laughs> yes, I had so much fun. Oh, he cooked for me, we ate together, and he's such a nice guy. Oh, you like him, right? I just said he's a nice guy. <laughs> you said that before. Oh, so lovely. <laughs> he doesn't deserve this. Nina, Nina, we can look for an alternative. Okay, please tell me, which other alternative do you have? Babe, I know this is difficult, but you have to pull yourself together so we can pull through. Please. What if he finds out? It will really hurt him and I don't want that. I, I'm just scared. You don't have to be. And he will not find out. Timmy loves you very much. And trust me, he won't even imagine that something like this can happen. Besides, your baby will start looking like him pretty soon. He wants you to start living together. Mm hmm You think so? I know so. Just relax. Okay? Relax so this plan can work. Oh. I just hope so. I really do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He cooked for you. You ate. I didn't think of bringing anyone home for me. <laughs> That's not all. Look at my wrist. Mm. Mm -hmm. Girlfriend. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> this is beautiful. I know. You got it for you. Yeah. You know, I don't know how he does it, but <sighs> Timmy is like every woman's dream. Oh, my chest. Oh, he's popping. <laughs> You're dramatic. <laughs> you know the second part of the story didn't complete it. Tell me, how good is he in bed? Nina. What? Nina. What? Nina. What? Nina. Mm. I beg, leave me. No, now. Leave me, oh. No, now. You have to tell me now. Oh, no, no, I need to be rested. Babe. Hmm? Huh? What if I tell you I'm pregnant? Are you pregnant? <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. You're pregnant. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> really? When? When, when, when? when did you notice? <laughs> I I found out like today. I I checked today. Oh God! <laughs> God! Oh Jesus Christ! How do you do this? How? How do you make me happy every now and then? I mean, this is 
This is the greatest news. I'll soon be your father. So he didn't argue with you? And you didn't see any doubt on his face? Not at all. It was just as if he wanted it. He was even excited to meet my parents after I broke the news to him. You know, I just wish I had met him before all this happened. See, there's no time for regrets, okay? You just have to focus on the future both of you have together. Listen, have it in your head that he is responsible for your pregnancy. It's not as easy as you make it sound. My conscience keeps fighting me every time I remember that I lied to him. He truly doesn't deserve this. Toy, can you can you just do away with this conscience of yours? Can you forget about this conscience and focus on the future with this guy? Look at you. You have a man who loves you. Someone who's ready to go to any length with you. And you're here telling me about conscience. Are you not supposed to focus on your future together? Please do that. Leave conscience. And stop with this behavior so that he doesn't suspect anything. Ah. You made your father look. The way you talked about her, I was thinking she's going to chase me out with a cutlass when I meet her. <laughs> That's because he, he likes you. You well, think so? Yeah, you're gentle. Who would see you and not like you? Thank you. I want to thank you for agreeing to do this with me. I should be the one thanking you for coming into my life, being my source of hope and happiness, and for loving me unconditionally. I'm just the happiest man. I am the happiest woman. <laughs> okay, let's go inside, freshen up, and then go for the movies. Oh, love that. Okay. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Uh, see how good you're looking. Uh, this guy is really taking good care of you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> My dear, with all the food I eat in this house, he still won't let me lift a finger. Wow. He literally does everything for me. Hey! <laughs> See, love. Ah, oh, God, when? Mm -mm. Don't even start. Don't do that, God, when? Okay? Yes. Get serious with one of those your boyfriends, Nina. And what's that supposed to mean? Now, you know what I'm talking about. No, I don't. You're a beautiful girl. You have a lot of guys around you. Instead of flirting around, why not pick one and take that person serious? Believe me, you'll be way happier than you are now. Really? Yeah. You want me to trust men? Men that are deceitful, liars. Really? Why? Baby girl, kindly change the subject. I, I understand why you're talking this way. Okay, I do. You nice to think this way until Timmy came and swept me off my feet. So, oh, I see. yeah. Well, I think you should stop talking about it. It's actually making me hungry. Talking about hungry? I have something special for you. Mm. Yeah. I'll go heat it up for you, okay? Thank you very much. But hot. you need to listen to what I'm saying. Okay? Just go. Get a boyfriend. Don't even start. Don't do that God win. Okay? Yes. Get serious with one of those your boyfriends, Nina. Hmm? 
so Tony is now mocking me, throwing jeering advices at me. The same person I stood beside, both in rain and storm, Tony, you will learn respect. What happened? Nina. What is it? Nina. Nina, I saw him. Who? Who did you see? Nina. The father of my baby, Nina. What? I saw him. Hey. <laughs> did he remember you? I don't know. I, I, I saw him and... Did you talk to him? No, I, how can I talk to him? I ran. I, well, he, he saw me. I, I, I think he remembers me because I... I, I oh my God. I, I want to wait, wait, wait. wait. I don't think he remembers you. Just calm down, okay? Calm down. See, even if he remembers you, I'm sure you wouldn't say he's the one that owns the pregnancy. So he didn't he, he didn't see you. He doesn't remember you. Oh, Jesus Christ. Babe. Shh, 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 shh. Just calm down. Calm down. Babe. Babe. Tony. Take it easy. Take a deep breath. Just count to ten. Relax. Relax. Just relax. Okay? Just take it easy. There's no big deal in all these things. Why are you stressing? What would you like to eat? Dragging me out of the house just because you want to go back. I'm sorry, that's what I'm craving. Sorry. See, if we get there and you don't eat this meat pie, eh? Not like the last time you said you wanted to eat chicken, you ended up eating fish. You will pay me 50k. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, you're not serious. No, I don't like stress. I will pay you, don't worry. I'll pay you. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening. Hi. Sorry, is that a problem? No, not at all. Just her face. Have I met you before? I mean, maybe in the supermarket or in the church or in no, the party? You, you haven't met me before, no. Oh. No. <laughs> I'm sorry for taking your time. Okay, my name is uh, Nomso. I stay in this apartment. I recently moved into this uh, to this estate. So the other day I saw you outside your house. I was like, I know this face. I decided to come and confront to clear my doubts, you know. Uh, well, I, I guess you're mistaken. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, sorry, sometimes people do look alike. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, we have to go now. Yes. Uh, okay. we have so uh, thank you so much for your time. No problem. No problem. Uh, <laughs> <have to> go. <laughs> You need to calm down. All you need to do right now is just to think of how you're going to be a great mother to your unborn child and a good wife to Timmy. At this point, that is all that matters. Mm. Nothing else. My, my unborn child and Timmy will not see me as a good mother or a good wife if they find out what I did. See, see, see. Stay calm and stay far away from this guy. 
Try not to cross his path. I'm sure if he stops seeing you, with time he will wipe away the thoughts of trying to recognize you. It will fade away. You'll be fine. It's okay. We've done it. We've done it already. Hmm? See you mid bye. Please. <laughs> you you Please. are not going there. Please. You will not do that. Remember. Fifty K. Fifty K. Babe. Yeah, baby. You, you transferred money to my account? Yes, I did. What is it for? Do you want me to save it for you? Save? No. That's your allowance for being my baby. I'm the man here. No. Okay? Okay. It's my responsibility to take care of you. It's up to me to give you money and gifts, not the other way around. No, I understand, but my dad sent me my allowance, so I decided to give that to you. Really? Mm-hmm. It's so sweet. Thank you. I love you. Uh, you're very far. I can't hear you. <laughs> you can't hear me, yeah? Yeah, I can't hear you. Are you sure you can hear me? I can't hear you. <laughs> I love you too. My sugar banana, my potato, my melanin popping, my juice mixer. <laughs> I know you like that thing. How come your hand is looking so hard today? <laughs> what was the meaning of that? I was thinking that. That was my girl. Nothing. <laughs> What's that? <sighs> Please. Your wife is upstairs. And as what I'm doing here, stop acting as if you don't know. You know I want you. You know I've always wanted you. So... <sighs> Wait, first let me reduce this so I understand what you're saying. What, what did you say now? No, come on. What, 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 what did you say now? Oh, Even the way you touch me. Ah! Timmy, you're not a baby. Hmm? You need me. The same way I need wait, you. Wait, wait. Are you mad? Ah. Huh? Yes. Are you out of your mind? 
Yes, for you. You make me crazy. You if, make if you come close to me, if I if if I if I slap you, babe, babe, babe. Are you mad? Who the hell is this? Babe, I, I've been meaning to ask, when, when is your friend leaving? My friend? Yeah. Oh, she's just here to help me in the meantime. Uh, you have a problem with her staying? Uh, no, not really. You know, she's been here for quite some time. And, uh, you know, it's not what she told me. She just said she wanted to stay for a day and leave. I'm surprised that she's been here for how many days now? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. She's my friend and... Yeah. Uh, babe. I had a nightmare last night. Okay. What was it all about? I can't remember everything, but... I remember you calling out my name and... When I tried to look for you, you were nowhere to be found. Oh, mm. that's strange. Mm -hmm. Did you pray? Of course I did. Okay, just a nightmare. I'll, mm -hmm. I'll also pray about it. Yeah, you should. You should. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. So, so your friend, you, you, you trust her that much? Yeah, I've known her for the longest. We've been besties. Oh. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, come here. You really need to put your acts together. Hmm? This guy doesn't suspect anything. You know, that guy is clearly after my life. Yes, he is. Because of all the places in this town, why here? Why did he choose to rent an apartment in this same estate? This is a coincidence. Babe, see, you have to take it easy. I think you should tell Nonso that he owns the pregnancy. Yes. See, he has a serious girlfriend. He wouldn't be interested in you anyway. No way. Then you can move on. No. 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 He's better off not aware. Absolutely no. He, yeah. He, he might act like he's okay with it, but once he starts seeing his child, he's going to cause trouble. Babe, I'm saying this so you stop fighting with your conscience. He won't cause any trouble, Nina, trust Nina, me. Nina, Nina, Nina. I please. I am not telling him anything and that's final.
just want to sit a little. You want me to massage your waist? Uh, that will actually help. Thank you. No, I don't think so. And you know I'm the wrong person to tell that. My love, I noticed you've been down for some days now. I don't know what is bothering you. Look, I think it's the pregnancy. You're worried? But I want you to know that the God we serve will make you deliver like Hebrew women. You will have no complication. My mom told me when she was pregnant with me, she was nervous. She was always thinking about giving birth. But guess what? When I was born, all that nervousness disappeared. It's normal for you to think like that. But that's when you're alone. I am with you. All the time. By your side. We are pregnant together. So you don't have to be worried. Okay? You're going to give birth. Like Hebrew women. Okay? Thank you, babe. You don't need to thank me, pumpkin. No. I'm here for you all the time. This whole thing is getting out of hand. Eh? If Tony eventually puts to bed, Timmy will be very happy. And he will start raining gifts on her. Hey, good. Then she will, she will have more wings to mock me. Ah! Hey, what do I do? She has refused to go stay with her parents for the meantime. That would have given me enough time for me to have Timmy to myself. Oh God, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? <sighs> hey, can we talk? Mm -hmm, sure. <sighs> so I've been thinking. Don't you think it's preferable we get a maid instead of having your friend come here constantly to assist us? Uh, babe, we really don't need a maid. But what does that have to do with my friend? 
Because we need privacy. I feel we are not getting enough privacy. Babe, she's not a stranger. You know, you're always going to work and um, all alone in this house, bored, nobody to talk to. So she's here to keep me company. Hmm? Okay. Okay. If that's what you want. I'm just thinking, you know, we, we need all the privacy. That... I know, I know, but it's just for a while. Hmm? Yeah, maybe we might even eventually get a maid. Who knows? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I think that, that, that would not be bad, to be honest. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, babe. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, this guy. So can can she come like once in a month? Okay, it's fine. It's fine. And since, since that's what she. Oh, don't like him. That the guy. Mm -hmm. But I like him. Man. Why do you like him? <laughs> because he's. Mean. He was a cheat. <laughs> no, it was mean. a cheat. Sasha. Yes, yeah. Don't have warned you countless times to always keep this toilet clean. Why didn't you flush it? I'm sorry, babe. I'm sorry, I forgot. But you should have flushed it now since you're already there now. I already did. But please, let this be the last time I will do it for you. Alright? You can do it yourself. Excuse me. If you did, so why are you yelling? You even called me by my name. Like, really? You called me by my name? Babe, listen. I... I'm sorry about... I'm sorry for calling your name, all right? But I mean, I keep telling you this and you keep repeating it over and over and over again. Babe, this pisses me off now. I don't like the sight of all these things. If you use the toilet, please flush it. It's not a big deal, is it? Calling me, babe. Please leave me. I need to sleep. Don't stop me, babe. I know this is about what happened earlier. All right, listen, babe. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry now. Leave me. I need to sleep. If you keep disturbing me, I'll go to my house this night. No, babe, babe. Please all right, leave all right, me. all right, babe. It's fine. It hasn't gotten to this point, alright? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be hard on you, I'm sorry. Please go to bed, I want to sleep. Alright. Good night. Is there a problem? No, absolutely. How's work? Work is fine. I came to see you. Is everything okay? You brought me flowers. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. See for quite some time now. I've been looking for a better time to do this. But I realized that every moment we spend together is the better time. Words can't describe how much I, I love you. 
You are everything that I want and even more. I want to ask for a favor. Can we walk this journey together? Will you marry me? These calls for celebration. <laughs> Getting married soon, and what will I stand to gain? Absolutely nothing. Hey, why can't this girl just go and meet the guy that impregnated her and leave Timmy for me? Hmm? <laughs> me, I won't stop. Oh, I won't stop. I have to find a way to stop them before it's too late. <laughs> Baby, fast! <laughs> Living as in how? I don't understand. Uh, it's just that you've been here for a while, so I want to know if you still stay longer or something. <laughs> Tony, they've proposed to you. And now you own the house. Ah, no. Nina, no, I just asked an innocent question. You know, I want to be aware so I can plan my life. Plan your life? Suddenly, you want to plan your life. While I was fighting for you, up and down, you didn't think of planning your life. Well, thank you for chasing me out of your house indirectly. Why are you sounding this way? I mean, why are you sounding rude? It was just an innocent question. Did you just call me rude? Oh, wow. It seems you woke up on the wrong side of the bed. As in, you're in a bad mood. Well, if that's the case, we'll have to talk later or something.
Hi. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Um, please, I have an information, a vital one, that you need to know about. Information? Yes. What kind of information is it? Can I come inside? No, I'm sorry, my baby's inside. Just talk to me here. What is it? Uh, okay, fine. Remember my girlfriend, the one you saw both of us together, that you said she looked familiar? Yeah, yeah, I, I remember her. So, what about her? No, so, I trusted you for God's sake. I trusted you. Instead, you chose to cheat on me with someone's wife. Yeah? Please, don't start. What do you mean, don't start? Don't start. You caused it. How? If it wasn't for your stupid behavior that night, I wouldn't have gone out and met her. Besides, she wasn't even married when I met her. How are you even sure the pregnancy is yours? That's what I'm saying. It's, I'm not sure. It's not mine. I don't know. I don't know if it's mine or not. The friend told me I'm yet to confirm. So, if you confirm, what will you do? Abandon me for her? You know, sometimes I, I wonder the way, the way you think. Are you rational at all? Are you? She's married. She belongs to another man. See, let me tell you something. You have to stop thinking about that lady and her pregnancy. Except you're trying to tell me you want to gamble me with her. Oh, God. See these things I do right now? You see this thing you just started right now? I'm not ready for it. Come on! Ah, uh, good evening, sir. Yeah? Who are you? My name is Nonso. I live around the neighborhood. Please, can I see Toy? Is there a problem? Ah, uh, no, not really. Can I see her first? Honestly, everything that happened that night wasn't planned. I had a crazy argument with my girlfriend. So, I left the house to clear my head. I went to a bar. I had bottles. I drank a lot that night. It was late and I decided to go back home. On my way going back home, I saw Toy. I saw her crying at the gate. I couldn't just drive past her like that. I decided to stop to find out what the problem was. She told me how her boyfriend threw her out that night. That she caught him cheating. And all he had to do was to throw her out that night. I felt pity. As the conversation was going on and on and on, I got relaxed. I felt at peace with her. So instead of going back to my crazy girlfriend that night, I decided to, you know, spend more time talking with her. Before I knew it, one thing leading to the other, we slept in my car. When I woke up in the morning, She wasn't there. She had gone. At first, I... I searched my car to know if she stole something, but no. Everything was there. My ATM, my phone, my money. Everything was intact. I didn't even get her number. 
I didn't even get her address. Nothing. There was no means to reach her. And I didn't even get to see her again. Like, for a long time. I didn't know these things could lead to her being pregnant for me. I didn't even know about it. It was a friend that told me that she was pregnant for me. I didn't know. What is that your name? My name is Nonso. Nonso, I've... I heard all you said. Let's not... Let's not waste our time in this. It's very clear that you're here. It's very clear that you're here for your unborn child. I'll be upstairs when you guys are done with catching up. You can leave. Timmy, please. Timmy, please. Timmy, 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 Timmy. Can we talk? Timmy, please open the door, please. Timmy, please, I'm begging you, please, just open the door. Let's talk, please, I'm begging you, please. Timmy, please. Timmy, please, it was my intention now. Timmy, 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 please. Hurt you, Timmy. Please just listen to me, please. Timmy, please. I'm sorry. I, I don't know how to tell you. Please, I'm sorry. Please, Timmy. Please, please, Timmy, just hear me out. Please, I'm begging you. Please. Have you ever seen me angry before? No. No, no, you don't need to be angry. You're a peaceful man. Just listen to me. I beg you, please. I'm, Okay, just wait for me to get home, okay? Just be patient, wait for me to come back. Don't go, okay? Don't go, just wait for me. Then you will understand the pattern of my anger, okay? Timmy. You will know the pattern of my anger. Please. Timmy, Timmy, please! <sighs> Babe, 
You're back. You're happy, right? You are very happy. You know, I thought you cared about me. I thought you were trying to help me put my life together. What did I do to you? I regarded you as my elder sister. What did I do to deserve this? You can drop your bag and sit so we talk. So we can plot another scheme to my death right? Well, I don't want to talk. I want you to pack your things and leave my house this minute. Get out of my house! Get out! It's fine. Calm down. Let me back I don't want to ever see you around me or anything that involves me again. Get out, you devil. Get out. Pack your things, pack all your things and leave my house this minute. Go! Go! Get out. I'm sorry for the things I do, but the pain I cause you. Oh, I'm going through a lot. Please don't give up on the love that we share. Cause I'm the I know you're mad at me right now, but I want you to understand that it wasn't my intention to break your relationship. I just felt the need to be with my child. Fine. I've heard you. Goodbye. I have heard what you came here to say. As you can see, my fiancé has broken up with me. My life is shattered as you all want it, so can I go inside now? Toyin, please. Let me take responsibility for you and your unborn child. I know I cannot date you right now because I have a fiancé. I'll be getting married in a few months. Please let me do this. Let me take care of you and our child. Thank you. But I am not interested. Toyin, please. Toyin, please, please. Toyin, let's talk about this, please. Oh. 
What's up, bro? You're still holding the bottles. Look, I know you're trying to clear your head, but don't hurt yourself. <sighs> this is way too unbelievable. If Tony can do this to me, then women can never be trusted. I understand, bro, but don't look at it from the other side of the story. She was manipulated by that her evil friend. Remember how she also made advances at you the last time? If you truly love her, you just have to let go of what has happened and build the life you want for both of you. Going back to Tony will be impossible. I can't see myself doing that. She's already pregnant for him. What would people say? What will my family say? I can't. I can't, I can't do this. You shouldn't be bothered about what people have to say. People will always talk. Even if you don't bring her back, people will definitely have something to say. Just follow your heart. You don't really have to claim the unborn child. Just love your wife and stand as a father figure for the child when necessary. The real father will definitely come for his child. You just have to let these dark moments pass, okay? I'm so So, I want to appreciate you and your fiancé for granting my invitation. You see, this past few days has been really, really tough for us. But I'm glad we came, we saw, and we conquered. I want us to be like a family, okay? I want you to feel free, come around anytime you like to see your child, okay? Your child can even be your son. We don't mind. The door is open for you anytime. You can always come around, you know, have dinner, have lunch together as family. You see, I, I love Tony very much. I mean, I can't imagine myself doing this with another person. And I believe you love your fiancé as well. Ah, uh, <clears throat> Mr. Timmy, thank you so much. I appreciate this. Uh, first off, I want to use this medium to apologize for any inconvenience I caused you in the past. Forgive me. That's okay. That's okay. I wish you happy marriage, give me love and harmony in your marriage. I also wish myself the same thing because I'll be getting married to my fiance soon. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. I hope we're invited. Of course you are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. All right, thank you. You're welcome. So when the IV is out, I'll, I'll send it across. Sure. Okay. 
We are like one family. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. You're welcome. Uh, so um, let me quickly get us a drink. Uh, yeah? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Thank you.